Hey, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn some slang and expressions with Jesse Pinkman, the beloved foul-mouthed character from Breaking Bad. Let's get started. Got a better idea. <sighs> Thank God. All right. What is it, Mr. White? Lay it on me. To lay something on somebody means to tell someone about something. As in this scene, the something here is often a plan or an idea. However, it can also mean to tell someone some bad news. For example, I hate to lay this on you, sweater cat, but your favorite sweater shrank when I washed it. Or, I know you have some bad news to tell me, so just lay it on me. You also often hear someone use the expression, don't lay this or that on me. This comes from the expression to lay the blame on somebody, which means to blame someone for something or to try to make someone feel guilty about something. If I say, don't lay this on me, it means, don't blame me for this, it's not my fault. Here's an example of this from Breaking Bad. I've had a bit of a setback. I'm sorry, but that's an accurate description. What else do you want me to call it? How about your fault? How about no, that? No, 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 don't lay that on me. You are in charge of distribution. You said exp- I, uh, I eat a lot of frozen stuff. It's usually pretty bad. I mean, pictures are always so awesome. You know, it's like, hell yeah, I'm stuck for this lasagna, and then you nuke it, and the cheese gets all scabby on top, and it's like, it's like you're eating a scab. Stoked means very excited or enthusiastic about something. For example, I'm so stoked about watching Breaking Bad again while creating this lesson. Or, Janet is stoked about going on vacation next month. Well, we were saying, boys are ready, give me some mad chatter, yo. Cheddar, Mr. White, fat stacks, dead presidents, cash money. In this scene, Jesse uses several terms that are slang for money. First, he says cheddar, which is actually a common type of cheese. We often equate money with food, and some other examples of food-related slang words for money are bread and dough. Also, the expression to bring home the bacon means to earn enough money to provide for yourself or your family. Jesse also says dead presidents which is slang for cash money. Most US dollar bills have pictures of presidents on them that are now dead, which is where the dead president's term comes from. You also often hear people say Benjis or Benjamins to refer to US $100 bills because these have a picture of Benjamin Franklin on them, who was one of the people who helped with the writing of the US Declaration of Independence. A fat stack or fat stacks is also slang for cash money, but this one means a large amount of cash literally a thick stack of cash. For example, after winning the poker tournament, he left the casino with fat stacks. What did you do to my deal? Nothing, nothing. Bullshit, my deal is not live. I don't know, I swear, I don't know. I, no, I, I it, it, maybe it was, I, I, I did change the channel on his TV, but the- Yeah, 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 that, that's it. While you were cooking, you know, he was watching one of those, um, those uh, Italian novels, you know, with all those ripe honeys on it. You know, he was really into it. I told you not to change the channel, man. You know, dude needs his eye candy. That's it. Eye candy is someone or something that is very attractive or pleasing to look at. This can be a person, clothing, or a nice looking car. In this scene, Tuco's uncle was watching a TV show with a lot of beautiful women, whom Jesse refers to as ripe honeys. A honey is another slang word for an attractive person. And when something is ripe, such as ripe fruit, it is fully developed and ready to eat. The opposite of eye candy is an eye sore, which is someone or something that is very ugly. An example of this is, the old abandoned buildings in the city are a real eye sore. I'm not disturbing you or anything. I, I tried calling, but... Uh, yeah, no, I uh, tossed all my burners. Hmm. A burner phone, also called a burn phone or just a burner, is a cheap mobile phone that is designed for temporary use. It is a prepaid phone for which you buy minutes and data in advance. Criminals like to use burners because you don't have to register them with your name, so you can stay anonymous. They also don't cost much, so you can just use it a few times and throw it away, or toss it, as Jesse says. What the hell are you doing here? Yo, I waited until the ball buster left. I mean, no offense. A ball buster or ball breaker is a person who is very demanding, insulting, or enjoys giving people a hard time. This term is often used by a man to refer to a woman that he thinks is trying to make him feel like less of a man. In this scene, Jesse is referring to Walter's wife, Skylar, 
who is constantly making demands and telling Walter what he should or shouldn't do. You can also use this in the verb form, to break or bust somebody's balls. This means to tease or give someone a hard time. Here's an example of this from Breaking Bad. Seriously? Hello Kitty? Seriously? It's free? Uh, we got a beggar's chooser situation here, so stop busting my balls. They nab me. I make a deal to give up the great Heisenberg and his million dollar truck ring. You're my free pass, bitch. A free pass is something that gives you permission to do something that you normally shouldn't do. In this case, Jesse is saying that if the police catch or nab him, he would tell them about Walter's drug business, using Walter as a free pass to get himself out of trouble. In a few years, this might all feel like nothing more than a bad dream. Would you just for once stop working me? What are you talking about? Can you just uh, stop working me for like 10 seconds straight? Uh, stop jerking me around? In this scene, Jesse uses two phrases, to work somebody and to jerk somebody around. Both of these mean to trick, deceive, or take advantage of someone. Here, Walter is trying to convince Jesse that he should leave and start a new life. But Jesse knows Walter is lying and is just trying to get rid of him because he has been causing trouble for Walter. Then why are you here? I don't know. It's like touch base. Touch base? To touch base with somebody, with the with somebody part being optional, means to briefly talk to or make contact with someone, often after a long period of time. You can use this expression when you haven't heard from a friend or family member in a while and you want them to know that you're interested in hearing from them. For example, Sweater Cat, I haven't heard from you since I shrank your favorite sweater. I just wanted to touch base with you and see how you're doing. Still angry? Ever since I met you, everything I have ever cared about is gone. Ruined, turned to shit, dead ever since I hooked up with the great Heisenberg. In this scene, to hook up with somebody, with the with somebody part being optional, means to start a work or business relationship with someone. For example, John, Dave, and I hooked up and started a rock band. Another common meaning of this phrase is to start a romantic or sexual relationship with someone. For example, Tinder is an app that is good for finding someone to hook up with. This can also be used in the noun form, a hookup, which can be either a sexual encounter or a connection to a drug dealer. Here's an example from Breaking Bad. I, I want to be a real part of this. Right, if you could just see that, I'm motivated and I've got connections. Here, my, my uncle's got his hookups in prison who I think would be a real help to us. Yeah, what you want? Um, Crystal, you think you could hook me up? To hook somebody up with something, with the with somebody part being optional, means to give or sell something to someone. For example, I'm starving. Sweater cat, hook me up with some of those delicious brownies you made. This is a voting thing. I don't think so. I vote. It's a voting thing. Mr. White, weigh in here, would you? What do you think? To weigh in on something, with the on something part being optional, means to offer your opinion about something. For example, hmm, should we eat pizza or hamburgers tonight? Sweater Cat, would you like to weigh in on this? Look, don't you think it'd be good if there was some back and forth communication here? You got me right in shotgun to every dark anal recess of this state. Be nice if you clue me in a little. To ride shotgun means to ride in the front passenger seat of a car. This is considered the best seat for a passenger. And you will often hear someone yell out shotgun to claim this seat before getting into a car with a group of people. The opposite of riding shotgun is riding bitch. To ride bitch means to sit in the middle seat between two people. In this scene, Jesse also uses the phrase to clue somebody in which means to give someone new or necessary information. You might tell someone to clue you in if they haven't been telling you about their plans or if they haven't been telling you everything you need to know. But then you're gonna wanna kinda take it slow because there's this 
dirt road. It's right before the white sign with a three on it. Okay, now, now you're, you're going to be way, way out in the boonies, okay, like crazy far. So you're just going to keep heading down that dirt road for, like, what? About another 15 miles. Really? That far? The boonies is short for the boondocks, which is a remote area with a very small population. People from larger areas, like cities, will often refer to pretty much any small town in the countryside as the boonies. Another slang word with the same meaning is the sticks. I thought you'd be ready for another pound today. You may know a lot about chemistry, man, but you don't know jack about slinging dope. Huh? To not know jack shit or jack shit about something, with the about something part being optional, means to know nothing at all about something. For example, Tom acts like he's an expert on everything, but really he doesn't know jack shit. Jesse also uses the expression to sling dope in the scene. Dope is slang for drugs, and slinging dope is slang for dealing drugs. A person who slings dope is called a dope slinger, which is slang for a drug dealer. Well, that's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please click the like button below. I'm also planning to hook you up with more lessons on learning English with Breaking Bad, so don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss any future lessons. See you next time.